What's up, everyone? This is the People's Fit Coach, Sincere Hogan, coming to you live from SincereHogan.com. That's S-I-N-C-E-R-E-H-O-G-A-N.com. Um, and instead of writing this email out from, I'm actually answering an email from a very good friend of mine, but it's a situation that I know a lot of you guys deal with, and I've received emails regarding this subject quite a few times before. So instead of just typing it out, I was like, you know, why not just make a video about it? You know, because sometimes, a lot of times, we learn a little bit more when things are a little bit more visual. Things start to make sense when you actually see it and hear it at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. So first of all, hopefully my friend Sharon will not mind that I'm sharing this information as well with you guys, but I think it can benefit everyone. Um, so here we go. Okay, the email states, First of all, I want to say hello to Sharon, and thank you for the birthday shout out. As for those who don't know, today is my birthday. Excuse me, I have some lint on my nose, and it bothers me. Don't think that I'm trying to pick a winner here. It's just uh, getting to me. Okay, so thank you, Sharon, for the birthday wishes. Thank, thank you all who all emailed me and sent me messages and texts and called and wished me happy birthday. Thank you very much. So here's my birthday present to you. Help you out with one of these very hard questions. Okay, her email reads, Okay, so I am coming to you for motivation. I'm going to work out in a minute, but I still feel terrible because I ate so bad again today. Trust me, you're not the only one. A lot of people deal with the sheriff, so it's not just you. Um, it seems that, you know, even I do it sometimes, it seems like I always let myself down when it comes to my eating habits. That's probably the only thing that I'm weak at, and that's freaking food. Oh, and mm, a certain alcoholic beverage that I won't mention here. I'm not going to promote that. Watch it, girly. Okay. Anyway, every day I have a friend or sibling that wants to go out to eat, and then it's all downhill from there. So I come to you, my friend, because I think of you when I think of strength and control over one's health. What do you do in these situations? Please give me, excuse, yeah, please give me words of encouragement to get my, you know what, on the right track again. Okay. Here's the thing, people. Uh, I think a lot of people spend too much time, you know, beating themselves up you know, over things that they can't change. You can't go back and fix the past. If you have a, have a day where you kind of let your eating get out of control, then, okay, this is what you do. You don't focus on what you did. You focus on what you're going to do next. So it's kind of like a bad relationship. You, In order to have a good relationship, you can't reference back to all the bad relationships that you have and beat yourself up over that. Otherwise, you'll never find happiness. You have to move forward. You have to tell yourself, hey, I'm not going to make those mistakes again. And, you know, I'm going to work day by day, just like any kind of addict of food is just like a drug. So you have to treat it. If you have very bad eating habits, then you're right there along with people who have drinking habits, smoking habits, whatever. Food can become an addiction. And in order to get over an addiction, you have to work on it one day at a time. And you have to, first of all, forgive yourself and stop feeling guilty. And a lot of times, just listen to your body. A lot of times when you're eating, you know that it's not making you feel good. It's a false sense of security. You're like, oh, I feel really, really great. Well, it's not necessarily making you feel good. So, like I said, don't feel so guilty about it. And just let yourself go. Stop beating yourself up. And if you ate very poorly the day before, you just know that today or tomorrow you're going to eat a lot better. And one of the best ways to do that is to focus on lean meats, lean protein. If you're a vegetarian, you want to focus more on things that are a lot more natural and not so starchy as, such as breads or things like that but you can focus on beans or things like sweet potatoes something of that matter and then from there you want to go with the freshest cleanest purest vegetables and fruit that you can find fruit more so during the day vegetables more so at night so I usually say lean and green but also the more colors you have on your plate the better and, it, and then you just have a small and basically turn off the TV you know, make sure you don't time your food and your eating with, you know, how much that you, how much you're drinking or the television show that you're watching. Turn the TV off. Um, sip as you as you eat. I know they tell you not to drink while you're eating, but you know, just sip along with that. But make sure it's water or hot tea. Don't focus on sugary drinks such as juices or sodas or or the like. But the main thing is just to let yourself off the hook. Don't feel guilty about a couple of slip ups here and there. No one's perfect. Uh, and I also understand this is a lifestyle. This is something that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. So, you know, here and there, we all slip up. Even some of us run red lights, you know, but I don't see yourself trying to turn yourself in to the police or city hall or you're going to confess, like, hey, I ran a red light, give me a ticket. 
and you don't feel really guilty about it, you just, you know, slow down next time and you stop at the red light, you look both ways and you try to be a little safer next time. Same thing with your eating. Just set yourself off the hook. And especially when you have those people, oh, I want to talk about this. When you have people who always want to go out, it's okay to say no. It's just like any other bad habit that you know that's not working in your favor. Anything that's not working for you, don't keep going with it. Just do the opposite. It's okay to say no. If they love you, if they're really your siblings and your loved ones or your friends, they will understand. In fact, you might inspire them to not go out and eat and eat so many bad things as well. One of the best ways to cure that situation is to pack your own lunch. Um, you know, do all your cooking like on Sunday. And do your shopping on Sunday. And just put all, all those things up in Ziploc bags and in Tupperware. Put them in your freezer and then you can just mix and match, you know, and grab stuff and put it together. Take it to lunch with you at work. Keep some snacks nearby. When I say snacks, I'm talking about some nuts, some craisins, something like that. You know, even low-fat, low-butter popcorn, low-sodium popcorn, things like that. So you won't starve yourself, but don't just necessarily eat six times a day every three hours, especially if you're not being active. But the thing is, don't let yourself starve as well. So, you know, focus on lean and green or lean and vegetable, uh, excuse me, and fruit. And... Drink lots of water, plenty of liquids, lots of tea, and you should be okay. But the main thing is to let yourself off the hook. Don't feel guilty and know that you're not the only one, but also know that today is another day. Tomorrow may not come. So just do your best every day and try to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. Okay? That's all you really should focus on. So each day, tell yourself, okay, today, let's see, yesterday I only ate twice a day. So my goal for today I'm going to work on at least getting one more meal in there and make sure it's as healthy as possible, whether it's lean and green or I have plenty of fruits and, and or the like, and you should be okay. All right. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me via my email address at joshuafitness at gmail.com, or you can visit me on my blog at sincerehogan.com. That's S-I-N-C-E-R-E-H-O-G-A-N.com. Take care, and I will speak with you soon.